Hello people and welcome back to my tutorial for today. I really really hope everyone is safe and doing okay at home. Alright, thank you to my existing subscribers. Thank you to Passerby. Thank you if you happen to be new. This is the Needle Woman. Please feel free to subscribe and then touch the notification bell so that whenever I upload, you get notifications. Okay, so to the business of today. Quickly, today we are going to be making a double layer circle skirt that is going to be wrapped. Okay, a double layer circle wrap skirt. And I'll be using this fabric for it. All right. So let's just get started. Basically, the measurement you are going to be needing for this tutorial is just your waist and then the length of your skirt. All right. So let's just get started. This is not supposed to take much of our time. So for this skirt, I'll be adding a few inches to the actual measurement of my waist since it's a wrap round skirt. Okay. My waist is. 38 i'll be adding about 10 inches to my waist measurement so instead of measuring 38 i'll be using 48 as my waist measurement all right so here we go first i fold my fabric into two as i already did and then i'll fold again making it into four now since this is an ankara fabric and we know the length is normally 45. It's not going to cover for my, uh, uh, if I'm to try to avoid joining it. So definitely we are going to be joining it at the end of the day. Okay. But the length of my skirt is 23. So I'll need to check whether it's enough. See the way I folded it. It means for this one, I'll be cutting another fabric later for it. Okay, to augment the length. All right. So we fit like this now. I'll place my waist measurement. I need the radius. The radius for my waist is seven point six. I'll just make it seven point. So I'm measuring 7.7 7 all the way round. And then we take the length of our skirt. I said it's 23. I'll just make it 23 and a half. Having done this, I will then proceed to cut this point and also this point. And then we now have one set skirt. This is 360 degree skirt, not 180, please. This is 360 degrees. Okay. 
The next thing will be to also cut this particular place so that both of them will become the same length. And I don't think I really need to show this. You just need to fold, put, place your fabric and get this cut out properly. So this is the extension of this one that is short. Okay. So I'll just need to join them at this point. And then I'm opening up one end okay that's not all at this lower part i normally move in by two inches but i'm going to be moving in by three inches this is because i don't want this end to be pointed when i'm wrapping it round okay so i proceed to now remove it just at that cut end though please not at the other folded side okay So we now have our full circle skirt okay i'm also going to proceed to cut another one but this time it's going to be shorter like halfway to this length okay so this is the short one and this is the long one I hope you see this is the short one and this is the long one i'll just proceed to cut the lining and line it properly i hope you all know how to do the line i'll be lining i'll sew the down part and then turn it and close it up at the waistline area for this one there is no joining because the length is not that long okay for the shorter one it's only the longer one that had joining here okay i also proceed to join this point now for this one remember for the lower part here i removed three inches for this long one for the short one i removed two inches okay so for the short one i removed two inches okay but for the long one i removed three inches okay i'll proceed now to cut the lining right so these are the linings i'll just proceed to line them accordingly okay right so i've done the lining i also joined them together at the waistline you see they are now together So we now go over to the band that is going to be at the waist. Please, if you are cutting your own, you need to remove the inches for the band from the length of your skirt, please. I did that, only I forgot to say it. You remove whatever inches you want to use as your band. You remove it from the length of your skirt. If not, it's going to be longer than you intend it to be. And so for this band, I have five inches. When on fold, two and a half inches. This is five inches. When on fold, two and a half inches. All right. So what I will need to do now is to, don't forget, measure this waistline. Okay. Of course, we should know that one of the bands is supposed to be longer than the other one okay i'll need to show you what i mean all right so assuming you are tying yours this way and you want this end 
to be at this point. Hope you are getting me to be this way. This way. It means the rope from here to the middle of your back is supposed to be shorter than this one. You see this, where this one stopped? So this one will now be longer. I hope you get that. I hope you understand what I said. If you are to tie like this, of course, this is the way I'll be tying mine this way. And then the rope is supposed to end at the center, at the back here, the center, okay? Where you normally put your zip at the back. It means this one that is ending here is supposed to be shorter, okay? Than this one that is starting from here. That will go all the way from this place down to this center back, okay? Now this is the measurement of my waistline, okay? Remember I said my waist is 38, then I added 10 more inches to it to make it 48. So from this place, from this point to this point is 24. You see it is on fold. So we have here 48 inches, okay? Now, like we said, the rope at this side is supposed to be shorter, okay? Which is this particular one is supposed to be shorter. So all you need to do is to extend this place and reduce the other side, okay? Say for instance, you extended by five inches. On the other side, just reduce by same five inches. I hope you get it. So it means I'm closing up from this end down to this place. And then from this point down to where it ends. Okay. So that you see one end becomes obviously longer than the other. I hope you see it. All right. Right, having closed it up, you can see the two ends. I've closed them up. Okay, the only op opening we have here is the circumference of our skirt. Okay, I will need to also glue this soft interlining because I want to give it a little weight. I'll glue it on the one that is open, please. I'll glue it on it and then turn it over and stitch it. All right. So the next and last thing will be to now join the skirt to the band. Now, like we said, this side is going to be here by the left hand side, okay? And with it comes the shorter rope, okay? So that you don't make mistakes when you are joining. So you join this way. You just start from where your sewing started, where you opened it up. And just start sewing until it gets to the end of the skirt waistline. Okay, so at long last we are done with our circle wrap skirt. This can actually be worn by anyone. Just look for a top that goes well with it. Now, if you make your rope longer, the finer and the better. It appears I'm going to be joining my rope so that it will be a little bit longer. This is looking so very cheeky. Okay. I really hope you understood this tutorial very, very well. This is not supposed to take much of your time in achieving it. It is actually very, very simple. As always, I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for making my day. Always I appreciate all of you. And if you happen to be new to this channel, this is The Need Woman, feel free to hit the red icon to subscribe. And when you do that, also touch the notification bell. Yes, at below your you know, your screen, you see the bell. Just touch it so that whenever I upload, you get notifications, all right? Till we meet in my next tutorial, please stay safe. Take very good care of yourself. 
and work very, very hard. And don't forget, most importantly, show kindness to somebody, someone who has no way of repaying you. That is the true essence of happiness. Bye.